So there I was, with my three beautiful hosts, Maxine, Claudia, and Rakim. And we were finishing a long day of voyaging the seas and plundering, pillaging, ah, blah, blah. You know, Sea of Thieves. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, it, it could be boring. Unless you have friends and you know how to make a boring game fun. That's just the truth. And I think the game has grown a lot since. The game has a lot of free DLC that everyone can access. And I really enjoy that because nowadays you don't really get to see a lot of free DLC. And we were just wrapping up finishing a mission from the Pirates of the Caribbean DLC where you peg Jack Sparrow, you fuck Davy Jones, and you know, you come on the fucking Black Pearl. You know, it's the big, you know, it's the stuff. So one of my thoughty honors decided, hey yo, I don't got the, I don't got what it takes to be out here in the streets. I gotta go. I need I need to change my life around. What the fuck you mean, bitch? And so I crash out, like any respectable pimp would do when their hoes try and duck them like that. Like what the fuck? But that's beside the point. Now we're in a predicament. We got a lot of shit, our boat stuck like a sedan in a ditch, and we don't know what to do. So we take our shit, dump it on the dock, and burn our fucking boat. We gather around that bitch like it's a fucking campfire and sing kumbaya. As our boat burned and sunk into the depths of Davy Jones' locker, we watched our friend as he left fading into the distance. Hate to see him leave, but love to see him walk away. But what happens to the remaining three stooges? I'm glad you asked. So I concocted a little scheme. A scheme that was surrounded by one very important variable. A dinghy. A dinghy filled with explosive barrels. We once tried this idea before, but it blew up in our face. And with enough pestering, I finally convinced the boys to try the idea again. And somehow that dinghy did not burn away in the wreckage of our ship. I don't know how. It was blessed by the Holy Spirit. And it was telling us, Hey yo! Happy motherfucker! So we jumped in and let Jesus take the wheel and went on the hunt for our victim. And now you're all caught up. Good. So we eventually find someone creeping off on him real slow, like trying to hit him from the back like we're at a P. Diddy party. But we're struggling to find the hole as you are about to see. But we got it in. And Brody detonates the shit. And I bust out the door. And I get caught by this poor guy. He's just out here looting. And we burst in on him like SEAL Team 6 catching Osama on the shitter. So I make a run for it like I'm dining, dashing at a Waffle House. I decided to follow the bros because fuck it. But they end up saying, hey, I'll spread the block, spread the block, because they crash out and sit. And I'm like, you know, a sheep and follow them. And I basically march myself to that death because I suck ass at PvP, as you were about to see. Yeah, sure, no cap. And my homies get enraged by this, and they obviously slide from me. You know, they get that shit back in blood, and they pick me up right off the dirt. You know how it be. Yes, sir. And I go to grab some fire bombs and decide, hey, oh fuck it, gonna light that boat in the rain. Because I don't give a fuck. And I scuttle down to the kitchen like the rat I am, trying to find something to heal with, to lick my wounds. And this is when I notice, that's our shit. Yep, that's our shit. Remember how I said we left their shit on the dock? So Brody must have picked it up while we were out gallivanting and planning to do chicanery upon his tookus. And he had no idea. Just like how we had no idea that we did a 180 and started to creep on that motherfucker. You may exactly be wondering how I know it's our shit. Well, we'll just sum it up to Daddy knows his bronze bondy. And I definitely remember those three stacks of worms. I guess that just leaves us with the moral of the story. The moral of the story is you can't have shit in Detroit. <laughs>